I've taken this opportunity uh, to ask the DCI because he says uh, two things that uh, he's investigating me and we know very well that we are in uh, the IBC tribunal and we expect an outcome on Sunday he said he's investigating me for serious crimes I think of an international scale that they're looking for me and we've come to ask what are we being looked for um, the attempts are to paint me as a criminal or a fugitive so that they can install their project in this county of Nairobi. Um, the DCI, George Kinoti, because I saw what he has said, he said, in, uh, and is quoted to having said, and he has not denied, and the DCI normally is very quick to correct any misreporting that may be in the media. They have not corrected any misreporting. And he said that we will not, allegedly referring to me, he said that we will not surrender our capital city to fraudsters and that we will involve all agencies to make sure that that doesn't happen. Because the, the, the end game really is to try and use intimidation and threats of arrest and whatnot. I'm, I'm not, I, I don't fear that. Um, but let them follow the law. Uh, all of those threats, intimidation, I've been asked today that if I step down, all of this will stop. I'm not going to step down. I'm running for governor of Nairobi. The aspirations of millions of Nairobians that have found expression in our message and they found hope, we are on course. And so let's just follow the avenues um, that the law provides, uh, provides to us.